Command Center press release, dated July 21st, 2036. As the war, now in its sixth year, has recently spread beyond Earth to the strategically vital industrial space colonies, and the combined casualty count, both military and civilian, is now estimated in the tens of millions, the Joint Forces Council has approved a new unorthodox method of warfare in the hope of bringing a swift military resolution to the current stalemate. Execution of Private Gomez in cell 105, now initiating due process. Oh. You got to execute you doing on Earth? You're gonna cry? Fine, please. Secure You can't look at me like animals. Execution of Private Gomez will commence in one minute. Execution of Captain Aldrich in cell 106 to follow. Let me see my family one last time. Shut up. Private Gomez. Sergeant Morris, report to cell block A. Keep warm and toasty. Private Gomez, under the Allied Strategic Command Code of Military Justice, Section 32, Article 13, you have been tried and found guilty by a military court of your superiors for the charge of murder in the first degree. The sentence is death. No! Execution chamber activated. <laughs> Incineration has begun. Heat is in excess of 100 degrees. 300 degrees. 500 degrees. Incineration complete. Remove the remains. Jeez, the smell. Just get his dog tags. Got him. New process. Execution of prisoner in cell 106. Captain Aldrich. All right, Aldrich, you're up. Quit struggling, Bird. Move it, Dirtball. Execution of Captain Aldrich will commence in one minute. Execution of Corporal Kovic to follow. No smoking in the execution chamber, Aldrich. You worried about my health? Put it out. Hand over your stash for redistribution. One last try. Look out! Security alert. All levels, security alert. Attempted escape and execution. All guards, report to level four. Only copper red access cards will be placed in all hatchways and will secure it. Secure cell block D, level four. Cell block C. He's not in Sector 7. Kick the infirmary. Roger. All guards report to your station. Access denied. Not too shabby, Captain Aldrich. Glad to see you still have the killer instinct. I suppose you're wondering why the man who sent me here has come to see me. Good. I figured you still had it. Had to test it. Two years of hard time can break any man's spirit. Silence! Captain Aldrich, first in his class at the point, youngest officer to receive the Congressional Medal of Valor, led some of the most daring missions of the war was one of my most promising young officers. Until the Phobos raid, when he decided to abort a mission and pull his men back. I had no choice but to court-martial him for desertion, an offense under battle conditions that's an automatic death sentence. What a waste of military talent. Aldrich, 
You've had the pleasure of being hit by Major Agatha Doyle. Agatha. Uh-huh. I'll remember the name. And I'll remember your blue eyes. Fall in! I said fall in! Sure thing, Agatha. The name's Major Doyle. Major will do. You will each address the colonel or myself by rank, or you will be severely disciplined. All right. That concludes the little lesson in military etiquette. Now, let's get to the business at hand. I've been asked to get a special unit together to go on a very dangerous mission behind enemy lines. The chances of you surviving are not good. If they were, I wouldn't be here talking to you, ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> Something funny, Private? Nothing, sir. Ma'am, I mean Major. It's just I've never been called a gentleman before. <laughs> <laughs> Quiet! You're not gonna hit me too, are you, sir? Ma'am, <laughs> Major. <laughs> You're all scum. Throw away scum. That's why they've chosen you to volunteer for this mission. Now, you'll all be wearing black boxes. Data recorders that will tape your combat performance for our mission evaluation. If you perform well, you'll get an honorable discharge. Now, if I were you, I would take that deal. Any of you who don't want it, step forward. And you'll be taken back to your cell and your sentence will be carried out. Good. Very good. Now, let's all get acquainted. Private Poe, shock troops. Wiped out an entire lunar village, killing 37 people. Then he killed his commanding officer with his bare hands. The army says he's a homicidal maniac. I say he's a good soldier. What are you looking at, Private? I believe he's looking at your throat, Major. Face front, soldier! Corporal Carlson, mechanized infantry engineer. Sold top secret engine plans to the enemy for cold cash. Nothing ideological about Carlson, right? What's good for me is right. What's bad for me is wrong. You keep me out of the death chamber, I'll give you anything you want. Anything. I'll take some of that. Can you fix an ion plasma generator? I like getting dirty, Major. I can get any motor humming and stroking. Private First Class Siegel. Computer expert, hacked his way into the military mainframe and sabotaged the personnel program. Um, <clears throat> with all due respect, I, <laughs> I didn't sabotage anything. I, I, I was merely trying to uh, rig my discharge papers. I, I was wrongly accused. Same here, sir. Wrongly accused. But I am a soldier and proud of it, sir. Corporal Ryan. No commando background, but extensive demolition experience. What did he do, sir? He blew up his commanding officer. <laughs> <laughs> I told my CO to cut the red wires, sir. How could I know he was colorblind? Shut up, Private! Colorblind. That's good. That's really good. It's the truth! Sir, I'm, I'm not like these people. I'm a good soldier. I like the army. My CEO's death was an accident. Lying is a sin, Brother Ryan. Jones, field MD. Served in a POW enemy hospital. Did unnecessary surgery on enemy soldiers with lethal results. Eight died. I am a soldier of God. I just acted on command. The angel of death is my superior officer. I can't really abide by anyone else's orders. You look like a God-fearing woman to me, Major. I will be proud to do battle alongside you. <clears throat> Major, a word. I told you you'd be leading scum to battle, in this case, to range scum. She's a great field doctor. Look, this is your last chance. I don't want to tell you what to do. My father used to say, once you make a decision, never second-guess yourself. I can count on you. You can count on me, sir. 
Good. Let's continue. Cargo pilot Kuzman. Attempted to steal a space shuttle and go AWOL. Should have given me that weekend pass when I asked for it. <laughs> <laughs> Corporal Goodis. Special Forces operative. Background in acrobatics and covert motion. Tragically, Goodis was raped by four soldiers. She hunted them down and killed them. The army found her guilty. I wouldn't have. She hasn't talked since, probably traumatized. But she's still an effective soldier. Private Cutter. Raped and mutilated two fellow soldiers under the influence of intravenous drugs. I'm the original party animal. When he's clean, he's a fearless point man. And fear is the primary enemy in this mission. Anybody who's not afraid is somebody we need. Try me. You'll like it. You have 72 hours to prepare. After several dry runs on a full-scale model, you will board a tactical shuttle that will transport you from our command ship to the enemy base where you will proceed with your mission. After that, you're on your own. Good luck. This is our target, an enemy fuel processing plant. It is the key to their current ability to launch long-range missiles and bomb cities back on Earth. Some of you may have relatives in those cities. The question is, would you buy a used space shuttle from Professor Doyle? We take this plant and we change the course of the war. Shorten it, maybe even save lives. Sure it will. You got a problem, soldier? You say the word and you're back in your cell. And Kuzman, you'd better be as good a pilot as you're cracked up to be. Because we have to do a hard gravity landing in the middle of a sandstorm. On impact, Poe and Cutter will go out first and establish a fire base. When do we get weapons? Yeah, when do we get the weapons? You get weapons when you're ready to get weapons. She won't make it. Look, these animals are going to eat her alive, even before I don't think she gets... so. She's a good officer. I feel kind of bad for her, though. Her father was a good friend of mine and a great soldier. She tries hard to measure up. She seems like she's on the verge of quitting. She can't. Not since Rigel. She's been thanking me ever since I got her this assignment. This is her last chance. She won't let me down. Raise the audio. Stay hydrated, people. Next, we move through these corridors. Expect strong opposition here and here. Excuse me. Yes, what? I appreciate the strategic importance of this mission and the wonders it will do for your military career, but it would be nice if at least a couple of us come back alive. What about creating a diversion? Aldridge, this is General Fleming's plan. I am executing orders as they were handed down to me. General Fleming is one of the greatest experts on commando warfare. I've served under Fleming. Shut up, Aldridge! You know, for a gutless disgrace, you have way too many opinions. Mm. Uh, I, I believe Aldridge uh, was not questioning uh, the general's thoughts or motives or, or uh, strength. I think, uh, basically, if you would refer to Sun Tzu's The Art of War, you might find... I don't have to do anything. All I have to do is give you a choice one last time. Pull out of the mission or shut your mouth. Am I clear? And you? I don't want to hear another word out of you. Sure thing. I got it. <laughs> I guess you commit one cowardly, despicable act like desertion. It's really difficult for you to conduct yourself like an officer. You want me to treat you like a new recruit. You want me to humiliate you. Fine. Drop and give me a hundred. You're going about this all wrong. Two hundred! I heard the stories about Rigel. Now I know how it happened. You aren't worthy of leading troops into battle if you don't give a damn about their lives. 200 or the chamber. Be a lot easier to hate your guts if you weren't so pretty. 300. And you, computer expert, count for him. I, I can do that. Uh, go ahead. <clears throat> One, two, three, four, five. Six. Assault shuttle Two, manta ray is one. Get back to the, velocity. the assault shuttle manta ray. We've cleared the command ship and are on our way out. 
Guzman, can't you steady the ship? The stabilizers are activated. This is as smooth as it gets. Get used to it. We've got a long ride ahead of us. You okay? <laughs> yeah. No, not really. I don't have much combat experience. Kind of afraid, aren't you? Yeah. How about you? Sure. It's natural. I don't fight nature. <sighs> Want me to hold your hand? I know it's gonna make me feel better. Aldridge, I wanted to ask you this. Uh, I was just wondering, what happened up at Rigel? I mean, uh, you know, you're an officer. You must know the truth. Doyle was attack battalion leader. Some general gave some crazed order to hit an enemy stronghold. Order was verbal. No written order ever got there. She was so anxious to execute the order that she lost almost every man and woman in the battalion. General later said that the order had been misunderstood. Oh, man, what am I doing on this mission? 14 minutes of touchdown. Entering enemy airspace. Radio silence. Listen up. Activate your black box. Missing hard gravity landing. Losing altitude fast. As soon as we meters. land, put on your pressure suits. Meters, 100, 60, 50, 40. Team, call in. Call formation now. Go, 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 go. Go, 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 go. Form two assault teams. Team Alpha takes south entrance. Team Baker, southeast. Ryan, set draconium charges to blow triphasic shielding on the east security hatch. Siegel, use your gear to override security.
Major, you're hit. Here, let me see your arm. The computer setup's an old model. It's from before the 21st century, but it, it shouldn't take me too long. What I want to know is where is everyone? Well, they know we're here by now. Siegel, how much longer? Well, I've almost got it. Just a few more seconds. You're lucky it's just a flesh wound. The bullet skin the surface. Major, uh, if we take out the uh, lights, we're gonna lose the power generator. Carlson can restart the generator, right, Corporal? Yes, Major. Siegel, do it! We split up here. Cutter, Aldridge, take the section. Roger that. Jones, Kuzman, Goodis. <clears throat> section two. Got it. Carlson, Ryan, Poe, the generator room. Move! Move! Proceeding to the generator room. So far, no contact. Continue with extreme caution. And check for trip wires and motion triggers. This place is weird. Where is everybody? What is it? What do you see? I don't like this, man. I don't like this. It's just us and our damn shadows here. Siegel, you guard the door while I secure the room. Audit reporting in. No sign of enemy forces. Sweep of section one almost complete. What's going on? Why can't we find an enemy? alarm we're clear let's be careful out there check your targets watch for booby traps it's a mirror seven years bad luck i wouldn't joke about those things especially here Recon reported two platoons guarding this base, but where are they? <sighs> Siegel, come check all the computer systems. Huh, interesting. These are Halifax 232's old systems. Give me a minute to get them online. You know, the longer this war goes on, the more of this old stuff shows up. Motion detectors. Running. It's strange. It shows that we're the only life forms here. It's only picking up our team. Doyle to all units. The command center is ours. Carlson, Ryan, Poe. Head to the generator room and get the lights on. Read it loud and clear. Poe, get the door. Ready? One. For. The ion plasma generator. To the left. It's all clear. Let's get to work. Damn it's out here. You really know how to fix all this stuff? Yeah. But I appreciate a strong hand in the right place. Anything you want, baby. You must be smart if you can fix these things. I just know how to blow them up. I bet Carlson knows how to blow them. Hey, why don't you shut up and let it work? I'd like to let it work. <laughs> Oh, me. Talk to me, Siegel. Anything? No, wait, hold on a second. Section 2 West, we have life. Doyle to all units. Meet me at Section 2 West, on the double. Let's go. Aldridge, meet me near the water. 
walkway. Cutter, join up with Guzman by the eastern stairway. This is better. Finally, let's kick some ass. Keep your eye on that motion detector, Seagull. It doesn't move like anything human. Maybe it isn't. What the hell is that supposed to mean? Whatever problems you and I have, I'm not dealing with now. You run the show, I'm your number two. Our job is to survive. Our job is to win. You ready? Keep your partner covered. Buy the book. SOP leapfrogging. Use short control first. Okay, it's open. Now go. Go. Oh, oh. Oh, that smell. It's the angel. Clear. I don't know what's worse. The Clear. stench or the heat. I know, angel. That's the rotting flesh. Stench. Oh, God. Oh, Jesus oh, Christ Almighty. These guys are wearing U.S. Army issue. Nothing but bodies. Corp soldiers. Sinners. U.S. soldiers. Man, I did not sign up for this. My officer has been busy. Was there a prior attempt to I take this post? I smell death. Don't know. Why are the people who did this? How come there's no one here? There are no bullet holes in there. Siegel, check your instruments again. Is there any other life form on this base? Something's not right about this. I've never seen anything like that. No. There's nothing, just us. This doesn't make any sense. It's so hot in here, it might not be so bad. Oh, God. Oh, great. Oh, my God. I think I'm gonna throw up. Oh, God. How can you stand really the smell? Hungry. That's what we picked up in the life detector. Maggots. Multiple injuries. Also, these men did not die together. There's various states of rigor mortis in evidence. Someone killed them one by one and piled them neatly here. Well, that's it. We did our part. Mission's over, right, Major? No, we took the base. That was our orders. We're done. Let's go. No, we're not. Not yet. To hell with him, Mr. What aren't you telling us? I can feel him. He is here. Whoever did this likes to kill. This mission's a bust. We must all pray. We must all get on our knees and ask for forgiveness. Spare us the sermon, St. Jones. Freaking fanatic. Ryan Carlson. Get to the generator room and get the lights on ASAP. Yes, yes ma'am. Jones. Jones! You and Cutter find some blankets and cover these men. Move it! Yes, ma'am. Doyle to home base. Doyle to home base. Come in. Home base here. Are you in the clear? Over. Yes, we've secured the base, sir. No sign of enemy troops. What do you mean, no enemy troops? Over. I mean, there's no one here except corpses in American uniforms, sir. I repeat, no sign of enemy troops. Corpses in American uniforms? Are you sure? Over. Yes, sir. I don't know what outfit they're from or why they're here, but I repeat, no sign of enemy troops. Over. That's impossible. Recon said there were extensive personnel. Did you check the entire base? Motion detectors are showing. No sign of anyone but our troops, sir. There's no one. Don't trust technology. Trust your instincts. The enemy could be all around you. Somebody killed those men. Set up a search and destroy. And analyze the black boxes of those dead soldiers. Over. The black boxes were removed from the soldiers, sir. Over. It looks like you've got your hands full there, Doyle. Reinforcements won't be there for another eight hours because of the storm. You've got a job to do. I know you won't disappoint me. Out. You're not gonna buy this shit, are you? This is the same kind of crap I got fed at Phobos and you got fed at Rigel. What's your problem, Aldridge? What's my problem? Are you kidding me? Even someone as dumbass army stupid as you can sense a setup. If you won't take steps to protect the lives of your men, I will. What did you say, Captain? 
You're addressing a senior officer. I'll cut this shit. You're pulling a Rigel again. You're following orders blindly when it's clear we're going into a cell. I'm sick of your attitude, Aldridge. Put down your weapon and take off your gear. What? Sit down and put your hands over your head. I will not allow you to spread your defeatist attitude. The discipline level in this outfit is bad enough to begin with. I will not let you turn my troops around. Put down your weapon now. You're either incredibly stupid, in which case I feel sorry for you, or you are incredibly deceitful. This is my platoon. I am in charge. You will obey my orders. Put your weapon down now! Ryan, I need you to report to the command center ASAP. I'm right down the hall, Major. Get in here now! Generators function. What's going on here? Ryan, this man is your prisoner. What? Remove his gear and his shoelaces and don't let him leave your side. Why? What do you do? Insubordination under combat conditions, punishable by death. You have a problem with that, Ryan? No, Major. I want everyone to meet me in the main fueling station in five minutes. What? Uh, with all due respect, Major, it looks uh, very strange, one sleeve and all. Move! All right, listen up, people. In eight hours, reinforcements will be here and we'll all be able to leave. You people did your job well. Our orders are to secure a safe house within the premises and to conduct a search and destroy. The motion detectors show no one on the base, but they may be malfunctioning. To secure the sublevels, we'll do a sweep in three teams. We're all shaken, but we're soldiers and we follow orders. The hell with the orders, Major. Did you see those bodies back there? I say we get back to the shuttle and I'll fly us all out of here. Hell yeah. I'm with you. I'm all packed. Let's blow this joint. Well, I just want to go home, man. I want to get out of here. Hold on. Our orders are very clear. We're to secure the base for eight hours. You want to stay? Stay. Uh, if I might, this, this, this place is uh, oh, scary. You're losing your shot at parole, Siegel. You're too smart for that. Uh, no. Actually, I'm too smart to stay here. Major, I said I'd fight along your side, but I will not fight him. This is his house. These dead men down there, they have met him face to face. St. Jones is uh, at it again. Ryan, you with us? Look, if they're all gonna leave, it makes no sense for the rest of us to stay. No offense, Major. Looks like you're gonna be here all by yourself, Major. Hope you packed a good book. Wait! We ain't leaving a hero alive. The question is whether we knife her, put a bullet in her ass. <laughs> I say we rape her first. Bad idea. Who asked you? Nobody. I'm not coming with you guys, and I thought you might want to know why. Why? Fleming is an asshole, but he's a smart asshole. His scanners pick up the ship taken off, he's gonna blast us out of the sky. We stay here. At least we got a fighting chance. It's our skill against whatever comes at us. Don't do this, man. It's wrong. It's stupid. The hell with you, man. You don't be standing up for her because she's an officer. I think. Kill the bitch. Yeah. He's right, you know. Anybody wants to commit suicide, head for the ship. Be my guest. I have this urge to conduct a quick court martial and execute you two on the spot. However, whoever killed those guys down there probably wants me to do just that. We don't fight as a military unit. We all die. Is that clear enough for you people to understand? So what's it gonna be? Much as I hate to admit it, The Major makes sense. I agree. Me too. Oh. Well, I'm in. 
Uh, so, what's the plan? As I was saying, orders are to conduct a search and destroy in pairs. Kuzmin and Goodis, passageway A, move! Ryan and Carlson, B, move! Poe and Jones, C. Siegel and myself move back to storage, and Cutter and Aldridge will booby trap entry points. Move! You on the same planet? Shit. Aldridge, a word with you. Hey, I'm not gonna thank you or anything. It's not a problem. I didn't do it for you. I don't get you, Aldridge. I'll take that as a compliment. I guess this means that Ryan can give me back my shoelaces. Yeah. Agatha. Major. Complete your sweep of the section and report before you proceed. Sweep quarter C complete. We're proceeding down the east terminal. Upper Borean Processing Center cleared. Moving to subsection one. Goodness. I thought we were supposed to stick together. This is a damn mausoleum, man. No hostiles, no weapons. Just those freaky stiffs. Intelligence messed up. There ain't nobody here but us. Let's take a break. You disappointed you didn't get to kill somebody? Night's still young, baby. secured on mining all beds. Good. Check the barracks tunnel next. Ryan and Carlson should have swept the area clean. Doyle out. I don't believe you. You picked the wrong time, Cutter. It's a waste of time, man. Ain't nothing coming through there, man. Nothing's coming in now. Nothing human. Love sinners. He's coming for you, Sister Carlson. You crazy little bitch. Now let him go, or I'll kill you where you stand. We shouldn't be fighting each other. Damn it, let's get back to work. Now let's not make any trouble. Let's get out of here. I'll get you for this, Carlson. They have prisoner ID bracelets. Just like us. Oh, God. Just 
like us. Just like us, they were prisoners. Just like us. Hey, except you. You're a smart guy, Siegel. Thanks. So what do you think? What's going on here? I have to go back to ancient Crete. A test, uh, like a labyrinth. The uh, whole maze concept, complete with the challenge of defeating the Minotaur. Half man, half beast. And it's a perfect test. Test. <laughs> Rex, we can finish what we started, lover. Poe's probably still around here. I thought he was gonna tear me apart. Oh, wow. As Jones would say, I think this is a sign from above. <laughs> oh, come on in. Mama will kiss it and make it all better. Mm. <laughs> I think we better stick to the owners. Oh, come on. A little fun isn't gonna hurt anyone. Besides your pass like this. Mm. Uh. Mm. Mm. Come on. I don't wanna make the same mistake twice. You don't know what you're missing. It's giving a, a nap. <laughs> a nap? A good idea. How about Carlson? It's not that I'm a flatter, but it's the wrong time in the wrong place. I bet you wouldn't turn down the major lover, boy. <laughs> I can see right through that tough guy act. <laughs> you like those big blue eyes. You two will look great together at the prom. Hmm. See you at recess. Ah. Aldridge, report over. Ryan and Carlson have been this week to the barracks. I'm heading back to the metal house. Over. Got it, Aldridge. Out. <laughs> Epimorphine overdose. He OD'd? Choked on his own vomit. He must have gotten into my bag. What about his How neck? How much blood did he come from a syringe? There's something else. Look. What? What is it? It's crushed. Look at these. Bruises. Pressure marks. Oh, man, this is bad. This is really bad. All right, the enemy is still here. They, they must have tampered with the motion detectors, but, but it can't be. I checked it. The Where's his black box? His black box is gone. This is definitely murder. Whoever murdered him must have taken it. Ryan Carlson, you were guarding this passageway. Did you see anything? Oh, no. They were too busy playing hide the salami. Is that true? Uh, uh, not exactly. Dereliction of duty is a serious offense, Ryan. Nobody got past this, I swear. Oh. I hope we're all uh, thinking the same thing here. Whoever killed Cutter will be coming for us next. We have to stay together, watch each other's backs, or uh, we're... Where'd Aldridge go? Come in, Aldridge. Aldridge, where are you? Aldridge, do you read me? Over. Freeze. 
hell are you doing in here? Combat data recorder. Somebody's black box. All right. Well, let's hear it. Uh, it's all encrypted. I'm only getting bits and pieces. Uh, it was left for us or for whoever came to clean up. The guy in the recording has got to be one of the guys in the storage room. Major, maybe I can create a gopher program which can backpedal the encryption and possibly let us know what this guy is trying to tell us. Fine, do it. You knew about this and you didn't tell me? I'm still not sure you're telling me everything. When are you going to get off it? Whatever happens to you is going to happen to me. Like you said, we're in this together. There's hope for you yet, Agatha. Major. Yeah, sure. Let's re-examine the sit. Whoever killed our predecessors probably killed Cutter. Seagull. Motion detectors? Well, it shows here that we're the only ones on the base. Unless they've created some type of new stealth technology that would... No, that doesn't make sense. I mean, motion is motion. Organic matter is organic matter. Our detectors would have picked up something. Maybe the sensors aren't picking up because they're not in the base. Maybe they're outside the base. No, nobody could survive for very long out in that storm. Siegel, you stay put here until that black box is decoded. Right. Well, we've got six hours until reinforcements show up. Maybe we could create a defense perimeter and make them make the first move and we just sit back and wait. Let's do it. Wait. Uh, um, I don't want to stay here alone. I, I was just thinking that maybe somebody could stay here with me because I'm not really the kind of guy that's going to be all... Private Siegel, you're a big boy. You have a gun. Use it. Okay. Anything moves, shoot it. Right. We'll hear it. We'll be here in two minutes, okay? We'll take shifts guarding and resting so Thanks. everyone stays at 100%. We'll Appreciate form a perimeter support. and Thanks. cordon off the main entrances. Let's move, Aldridge. Mm. Uh. We've got a secured area, so let's talk defense. Generator room is most defensible. Only one way in. Yeah, but there's also a drawback. We don't know what military technology we're dealing with. You want defensible, but you want a retreat option. I don't like to think of retreat as an option. I don't mean to criticize your military expertise, but as Siegel put it, you're limiting your command of the art of war. But if you consider retreat as an option, you never put your life on the line and attack. You should never attack if you can't win. You should always dictate the time and place of engagement. Keep an ace up your sleeve. That's precisely what we're dealing with. Been lured into something. Something else determining the time and place of engagement. Yes, baby. Come here. Like I said, I don't get you, Aldridge. Give it a chance, you will. Go on, we got work to do. Where the hell is she? Here. 
Oh my god, Carlson. Oh no. Jones! My black box. She's gone, Major. She's with him. Someone broke her neck. Someone with powerful hands. Where were you? Passageway A. Who were you with? I was with Jones, and then we split up. Cover more territory, be more efficient. You're not gonna pin this on me, bitch. Wait a minute. So now we're going from an invisible enemy to a one of us theory? That's bullshit. One of us didn't kill those guys back in the storage room. Nobody said whoever killed them also killed her. She got under your skin, didn't she, Paul? Bastard Ryan. Stop ah! it! Ah! Ah! Freeze, Private! What the? The generator. What the hell happened to the friggin' lights? We gotta no! kill him! Hold their fire! Ah, he's guilty. Why else would he run? Kuzman, Goodis, get down to the he's generator and see what happens to the power. Ryan, Jones, him. secure the area. What if we find Poe? Do what you have to do. Aldridge! Back to the command center. Siegel, is the power down in the command center? No, they still have power. The backup generator must have kicked in. Is the black box still decoding? Yes, Major. We're on our way. He got, he got to help me out here. I'm freaking out. Um, we, we, we need uh, the reinforcements. When are the reinforcements coming? Tell me, talk to me, talk to me. Five hours. Pull yourself together, soldier. What's going on with that black box? The black box is still decoding. Uh, I, I don't think I can take this anymore. How much longer for decoding? Uh, 66 minutes. Get down here. I'm really worried. Come on. Jones, this is... These are the death you keep talking about. Is it man or beast or what? Picture him as all things. All men and all beasts. Is he near us? Oh, yeah. He's near us, all right. Oh, God. Major, this is Kuzman. We've just entered the generator room in subsection 3. Any sign of Poe? Negative. The main power grid's just ahead. Proceed with extreme caution. Kuzman, check the power grid while Goodis covers you. Poe could be anywhere. Major, this is Kuzman. I got some real bad news. Report. Power grid's toast. Uh, I think it's some kind of sabotage. Looks like it's been preset. Could have happened any time. You copy that? Copy that. Must have been both. Seagull, you got something we can do? Uh, Come on, there's got to be something. All right, Kuzman. Check the uh, grid wires and, and tell me if there's any power coming from any juice at all. How the hell should I know? There should be a yellow wire. I want you to wet your finger and uh, touch it. Don't worry, because it's very low voltage. It won't hurt you. Ah! Siegel, you're a mutant. That hurt. Good, good, good. That means there's recirculating power coming through it. All right. The saboteur toasted the grid, but we've still got an energy loop coming off the power source. Compound's main transformers are here, subsection 4. So if I'm lucky, maybe I can reroute partial power to certain sections, provided nobody else screws with the generator. Do it. Well, the only problem with that major is that uh, subsection four is uh, very dark and scary. And I'm kind of afraid that, you know, if I have to go there by myself, so maybe I'm not really the right guy cut out for the job. I was thinking maybe you could send somebody else and then I won't. Negative. I have another job for you. Kuzman. Meet 
Siegel at the east end of subsection 4. Leave Goodis to guard the generator. Major? I'm no electrician. What does he need me to hold his hand for? Kuzman, that's an order. Goodis, I'm not leaving you here alone. Watch this door. It's the only way in or out. If anything comes through this door, blast it. Ryan, Jones, split up and scissor substation five. You go straight and I'll take the left. Wait, wait, wait. I don't think we should split up. You saw the layouts? These passages meet up after 50 yards. Major, we copy. Send me mutant, boy. Siegel, you have your escort. Now move! Move it! Move! Okay, okay. Siegel's moving. Oh, I want you to head the search for Paul. I'm gonna stay here with the black box. I got it. Experience. Savage killings. Welcome. Straight. Extended search. Call me a punk. Here's a box. Damn it, stuck. There, now it's open. Nice job, tough guy. Get to work. Kuzman, any contact with Poe? Negative. I'm just babysitting you. Aldrich, anything? Nothing. Ryan, report. No sign of anyone, Major. Keep an eye out, people. Sorry. Any sign of Poe? No. What about Ryan? We split up, but he can't be too far ahead. Come on, come on. God, the equipment in this place is archaic. Done. Done. Major, we're done here. I'm heading back to the generator room. Death. Wait. Goodis, we're coming back. Goodis? Goodis, if you copy me, tap twice on your comm link. Goodis, are you there? Tap twice on your comm link. Goodis. 
Good as Christ, you copy? Major, we're on our way back to the generator room. I think something might be wrong with Goodis. It's Aldrich. We're gonna meet up with him. Goodis! Where are you? Goodis! Goodis, where are you? She's gone. Let her go! Let her go! Aldridge, report. What the hell is going on? It's Goodness. Goodness is dead. Same cause of death as the others. How? Check her black box. The black box is gone, but there's teeth marks in her throat. It looks like she was mauled to death. Are you saying some kind of animal did this? Whatever it was, it's just getting warmed up. Describing the cause of death. She had Hold deep on. fatal laceration. Cutter and Carlson both have <laughs> neck wounds. Around the same area suggests what goes for the throat other than man's natural predator? They don't have any natural no. predators. Oh. Don't be so sure. No. Who is screaming? Who's I just gave him a sedative. It's gotta be Paul, right? I mean, we're all here. The rest of us are all here. This whole operation was a systems crash from the boot up. Don't you see? Why else would they put a group of people like this together unless it was... What? 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 A test. What kind of test? A test. Think about it. All of you are trained professional killers. Every one of you. But there's one who is stronger, quicker, faster. And that one is thinning the herd. What about the dead soldiers? They're not soldiers. They're prisoners like us. Oh, God. Oh, God. What? Yeah. Oh, your friend God. Doyle didn't tell you. <laughs> yeah. Major, we're coming back to the command center. Uh, uh, uh... Keep Kuzman quiet. Guys in shock. Don't let his head drop. Keep his back straight. We need to know what's recorded on this black box, Eagle. Make that your highest priority. All computer power has been diverted to decoding the black box. That means no motion detector, sir. So we have no way of tracking Poe. That's correct. Secure the area, break the adjoining passageways with explosives. We can't, we don't have enough charges. Well, if we don't get some fast, there won't be anyone left alive when reinforcements get here. What about in the shuttle? Yeah, well, sure, but who's gonna go out there and get them? Oh, no, Major, no. No, what if Paul has the same idea? It's an order, Ryan. Your demolitions, it's your responsibility. Someone else might accidentally set off the charges. Suit up, move. Keep going straight. Do you have a visual on the ship? A negative. Move to your right. I don't like this, Major. If Poe doesn't get me, I'm going to be buried alive in this storm. Poe can't be out there. All the pressure suits have been accounted for. Well, nothing human can survive out here. What if he's got an enemy suit? Just get to the shuttle. You're almost there. It's hard to move against this wind. Wait, I see something. You're right by the ship. I'm accessing the outer door. And the outer door. I'm inside. The place looks clear. There's nothing here, thank God. What do you see? Can you get to the charges? I hear something. 
still be alive. There's still a chance. Are you crazy? There's no way he could have survived that. Come on. Let's stay back to back so folks can't sneak up on us. Couldn't have had a suit. They were all accounted for. Unless he sent the bomb in advance. But Ryan's the demolitions expert. He was in the shock troops. He could have easily learned about explosives there. It's combat training. Wait, what's this? Wreckage. We must be close. Let's keep moving east. Any sign of him? Ryan! Ryan! The shuttle must be completely destroyed. Wait, I think I see something. I think it might be. Doyle! Here! Ryan! Can you hear me? He doesn't hear you. He's dead. I don't see his black box. I don't get it. If it's Poe, how did he get his black box out here? I don't know. This is strange. I would have expected more damage from the explosion. It must have been blown clear in the blast. Even if Ryan had survived, his precious suit is ripped to shreds. If Poe managed to get his black box, that means he could be out here now. We better get back to base. Four dead? What happened, Doyle? Over? Someone. Something. I... Maybe even one of us. Uh, Poe. I'm not sure. Over. Not quite sure, Doyle? Have you deployed your men? Have you combed every inch of that plant? Are you positive there are no hostiles in that facility? Are you using good judgment? Over. Yes, sir. I... I just, um... I wanted to ask you about the dead men we found here, sir. No questions, Doyle. This is not a secure line. Reinforcements will be there in four hours. Now I want you to set up the LZ landing lights and trigger the homing beacon so the pilot can see you in the storm. Do you think you can handle that, Doyle? Over. Yes, sir. Major, I'm very disappointed in you. Fleming over and out. The homing beacon is located here, in the middle of the base. The LZ lights, which control the facility, are located over here, near the shuttle port facility. That's where the controls are near the airlocks. We need those lights so they can find us. Right. Siegel, you and Kuzman switch on the LZ lights. Aldridge and I will activate the beacon. We can still make it out of here in one piece. Whatever you do, don't split up and keep your heads. Major! Coming. Jones, I want you to guard the command center. And if anyone walks through that door, I mean anyone, you kill him. Let's go. Why didn't you tell me about the prisoner's ID tags? I didn't trust you, I guess. You didn't trust me? I'm the guy in the trench next to you, and you don't trust me? You'd rather trust the brass? It's Rigel all over again, okay? I just got some of my men killed again. What the hell is wrong with me? How stupid am I? You knew better at Phobos, didn't you? You pulled back. You protected your men. You didn't trust Fleming, did you? When it came down to your men's lives, you only trusted your own instincts, didn't you? Didn't you? Just a bust of steam pipe.
Kuzman. Sego, we're in. Report your position. We're heading through the main processing plant. We're almost there. Homing beacon commands, frequencies. Let's get cracking. What do I do? Turn everything on. Oh, don't open the door. Turn everything on. to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. Entry coordinates. Zero mark, two mark, niner. Zero, two, niner. Confirmed. Ten clicks from Proteus Crater. Ten clicks confirmed. LZ, grid 12, south by southwest. LZ, south by southwest, confirmed. Beautiful. We did it. Guzman, you coming? We might just get out of this hellhole alive. Major? LZ is lit like a Christmas tree. Good work, Siegel. Meet us back at the command center on the double. Roger that. We did it, Aldrich. You did it, Agatha. Take the credit you deserve. You're not gonna cut out this Agatha shit, are you? What's wrong with Agatha? It's a stupid name. What about Agatha? God, no. Can't you just call me Doyle? Sure. Jones, the computer finished cleaning our black box. Put it on the comm link. Acting on orders from Commander Fleming, my unit attacked Sarnath, but found no enemy troops. We secured the base. Then it started. My men killed one by one. Savage killings. The work of an animal. Killer's strength. Inhuman. After an extended search, we have determined there are no troops in the compound. Only five of us remain. The killer must be one of us. I fear we are the pawns in a diabolical game of death. We're running out of options, and I'm so very tired. Commander Woolridge, Company C, out. Major, it's exactly as I thought. If we don't get out of here, we're all gonna die. Fleming! Get there as fast as we can. Thy rod. Thy staff. They comfort me. They comfort me!
back at all times. Look, someone broke into the vent. It has to be Paul. He's the only one strong enough. Don't! Don't! I'm smashing the exterior locking system so we can get in. Now! This is Siegel. Where? Siegel, where are you? Need us at docking bay 94. Kuzmin. Kuzmin. Kuzmin, is that you? Kuzmin. Kill you, Aldrich. Bloody murder. I didn't 
kill anybody, I'm telling you. But maybe you did. I'm not taking any chances. <laughs> <laughs> Just tell me, you're the killer. I'm not f falling for this, Aldrich. I did not enjoy killing all those villagers. My commanding officer ordered me to exterminate anything that moved. And I did. <laughs> the army made me what I am. And you are army. <laughs> I'm not the one. I heard screaming. I thought it was you. What the hell happened here? You know what happened here. It's only you and I left. And I'm not the one. You are. You're Fleming's plant. What the hell are you talking about? Have you lost your mind? Unless, of course, it's you, right? I knew not to trust you. What the hell are you? Some kind of genetically engineered freak? A shapeshifter prototype? Calm down. Reinforcements will be here in less than an hour. We can sort everything out. Yeah, like you worked out these bodies. I was in jail, and you were here. You killed these men. Then you led us here. You're Fleming's perfect little soldier. The only reason you got out of jail was so that you could be Fleming's plant. Don't move! What about that? All that talk about being a good officer and caring about your men. Don't make me kill you, Aldrich. I think I know you did it. But as long as there's doubt, I was actually beginning to trust you. That's my boy. No hesitation. He'll be heading for the LZ now, General. <laughs> I can only imagine what'll go through Captain Aldrich's mind when he finds out. ETA, Station Sarnoff, 20 minutes. You all got your orders, correct? Yes, yes sir. Yes, sir. All right. It's one on one now.
it was you, I killed Doyle for nothing. What the hell are you? I'm the perfect soldier, the perfect hunter. I can survive beyond what mere humans can endure. I can adapt to any situation. But you were dead, I saw you! How? How did you survive without a pressure suit? My genetic transformation allows me to adapt to harsh conditions. It toughens my flesh, regulates my breathing, heightens my senses, increases my reflexes. I am the perfect soldier, more aggressive, more alert, more deadly. I am the perfect hunter. Armed with the weapons of man, with the instincts of the lizard, I do not hesitate to do what is necessary. Why kill your fellow soldiers? I am a destroyer. I am a good soldier. I follow orders. A good soldier does what he's told, and I was told to kill you all, as I will now kill you all, wretch. Where are you, you freak? Brian, you cowardly son of a bitch! Brian is here. Her death. You retreated when you saw the Legion coming at you. You had Doyle attack it from the rear. You must have planned this when you tore wrestling for the gun. You laid a trap for the Legion. Smart. Yastremsky, how is he? Not good. Could be saved with a lot of work, but why bother? This test run is obviously only partially successful. The Legion is still beatable. They win. <sighs> We need to spend more time on the Legion. Come up with a better prototype. We won? You monster! This is a game? Soldiers died because of a game?! Don't! You've won. You've won the game. You've seen the Legion in action and up close. You're a fine military mind. And I'd be proud to have you in my command again. Join the project. Project? The Project Legion. The ultimate soldier, deadly, obedient, no emotions, no flaws. 
It's the edge that can win us the war. Don't you see? Our firepower, technology, it's identical to the enemy, so they cancel each other out. But with my idea, it's back to the basic unit. Man, genetically programmed. A creature with a primordial mind of a lizard. This is the part where I say you're mad. You know I'm not mad. I'm a professional soldier. I have a goal, and my goal is to win at any cost. And that's where you have a flaw. Your flaw is you don't want to win badly enough. Your downfall is that you're obstinate, and you have way too many principles. That's why I have to put a bullet in your brain. Damn no, you! Excuse me, ladies first. No. Ah! On August 12, 2036, in a daring raid on an enemy installation, General Fleming was killed in action. Major Doyle and Captain Aldrich are MIA and presumed dead. General Fleming was posthumously awarded the Medal of Honor.